this is going to be a tutorial on how to install PTX distribution on a friendly arm mini 2440 first I'm gonna, this is pretty much a f starting with a fresh Linux system I have Ubuntu 12.10 there's pretty much nothing installed on this except for like just the base stuff First, I'm going to start off with the preliminary embedded Linux stuff or ins distribution installations. I'm going to be using the Pro Linux Embedded System as a reference and also here's another book. book as well. In this building embedded Linux systems book. Pro Linux Embedded, there is a configuring your system, which shows or tells you what packages you need, the base packages you need. And here's the command here. I'm going to open terminal. And you can just type in the installation command these packages making sure that the package is still relevant and the only difference for this is they tell you to use NFS user server it's now NFS kernel server which you want to use TFTPD Minicom Minicom is going to be the, the program we use to interface with the board. We use Pico or any other one. I'm just going to follow the directions. It should take a few seconds to install. Those these are installed. I'm gonna, I guess, follow these instructions from this book, Pro Linux Embedded Systems. This is just instructions if you're gonna use Windows. So I first tell you to turn off the firewall. I'm gonna wait to do this. The next thing they tell you to do is to set up a TFTP server. that from the console because you need root access to get to the directory that you need to make this file. To start off with a TFTP you want to create a TFTP file in this directory. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create that file using gedit. This file doesn't exist, so I have to create it. TFTP, enter. And pretty much I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to follow instructions from the internet to be easier. This is pretty much the same instructions except for it's more detailed. 
and it's from this website here. I'm gonna I guess I can post a link. And first I need to follow the first step. Which is install pretty much type in this command. I know I actually already installed TFTPD and I think I installed XNetD2 as well. If it's installed, it'll just say it's installed already. And it took there's only one thing need to be installed, which was the TFTP. And now uh, it tells you to create the TFTP folder for step two. Sudo uh, use GA. Or if you want to use a console, I, just, I probably don't have nano, but So use gedit if you're not comfortable using nano, which is just going to be just going to be just typing that in. But you just have to close this before you can get to the console again, or you can open this independent of that. Now I'm going to make the directory. And I guess just to show it. File system. server argument you use here is the directory you want to create so step three is making the server argument directory which just follow the instructions sudo I use there um, I think they already created the directory for me but you know, it's going to say cannot create file exists already So now I'm just going to change the access to that directory. And then I'm going to change the owner to nobody. I like changing the group to no group as well. But I don't think you have to. And then step four says start TFTPD through XNet. So I'm going to start that. Um, I guess you can follow these instructions or you could use the service interface. And this will tell you that you can use the service interface, which is just 
close and start. Test it. Hopefully it works. I'm going to create a file in the directory. Let's see. Touch. Actually, I'm just going to try creating the file without using touch first. But you shouldn't have to do that for any file you create. I'm going to create a file and create it in the window where it's probably faster just to do it like this. I'm going to name it test. Sure that that's actually just test with no extension. Okay, now. I just I pretty much just skipped this and manually created the file without using touch. Now I'm going to continue their instructions. See I'm going to modify. You have to modify the permissions for the file you created, which actually you could probably just create the file and then change the permissions on the. TFTV boot directory because this R means for, uh, recursive. So everything in that directory will have this 777 permission, which basically means that anybody has read write access to that directory. But since this wants to make you do it twice, I'll just follow up their instructions. And I'm changing the directory of this file permissions to read write for everyone. That's done. I just want to make sure that I guess that that's actually now. And everyone has read write access. And let us see if this works. Let's go to uh, let's go to a, a directory where I can actually write something to uh, other documents. And start TFTP. If and it looks like it's gonna time out. This is the issue that I think most people probably encounter when trying to install TFTP. Just wait till it says time out. at first. Let's see. Since I got that timeout error, let's search the internet for solutions for that.
mysterious to me. Why you get time out here sometimes? Pretty much what I'm gonna do is I'm going to remove TFTP, TFTP, D. Actually, remove it first try restarting. So the TFTP server works. So I guess if you get the timeout, try restarting your X in it. And that's the TFTP part's done.